pursued Islam, was busy worshipping as a Muslim. And then the more you dig deep, and then you realize, no, what is this again? No, 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 this is not it. No, no. So, again, you're now in this path, and you're now again seeking. And then you realize, no, that's not it. No, no, Sasa. So, the, the thing to just keep on going and going and going and going and, and you're being directed, being directed into this place, into this path and this and that and the other. And then you realize that there is more. So for me, I, I am, I am so thankful that, uh, these things are happening. Exactly. And just very consciously aware of, of, how things are panning out. But the interesting thing is that the, the ability to just be grounded within. And now, it's not, I'm not, it's not shaking. I'm not, I'm not, not like shocked. It's just, it's just like, yeah, but it's not that rude awakening. Yeah. It's not that, it's not that rude awakening. It's not like that first time when I was realizing, what? Yeah. It, it's not, it's not like that how it was before. So me, I'm just thankful for the, un, the unfolding, the, uh, the being drawn out, the being, um, um, the scales keep falling off and, really just getting into this path and into this place. I'm just having a consciousness that is so alert and so aware. So for me, whenever I'm sure to no, no. Yeah, by the way, as I'm telling you, Sheila, knowing the truth, many will ask, how does this truth help me? It, it, it helps you because it sets you free out here. It sets uh, you free. Sheila Nakwambia, this is what, this is what the, the, the lost gospel of Thomas, where one of the sayings of, of Jesus, he says this, for those who seek, for those who seek, should not mm. stop seeking, seeking. Un until they find. Mm. And if they find, they shall be troubled. Mm. But Because they, now you realize that you have to keep on seeking, seeking, seeking. Exactly. Mm. And it, it it clearly says that should not stop seeking until they find. And if they find, they will be troubled. Clearly it tells you that because truth is not comfortable. Mm. Now, That's right. As I'm, I was telling you, many people, eh, they would just always mm. claim that they are seeking God. Seeking God is one thing, and seeking mm. truth is another thing. Seeking God is mm. seeking, this seeking people which are doing, here we mm. are, Sheila, we are here to seek truth. We are not here to seek God. God cannot be so. Meskia. We are mm. here to seek truth. There's a guy who's just driving like a madman. <laughs> hmm. Sheila, we are here to seek for truth. We are not here mm. to seek for God. God cannot be sought because God cannot be absent. All that is mm. is God. There's nothing God is not. It is mm. only God that which exists. Therefore, that which is already present cannot be sought. We are here to mm. seek truth. Upon stumbling on truth is where we find our freedom. Mm. Freedom comes only from finding, seeking and finding truth. Because mm. truth sets you free from the bondage and the deception and the manipulations outside here. And it will release you from the matrix that is there. That is the thing, Sheila. This is what people do not do not want to, you know, we like, we like 
being the victims. Sheila, this thing is which is called the matrix. Matrix is this hologram which we are playing in the physical reality. Sheila, it is oh. unfolding by a hundred percent of our own projections. We create this one, this reality. I'm about to say matrix. We create it because we have even out of our free choices embraced deceptions here in in the name of truth. And then they become our And we are truth. comfortable in it. We are not yes, we are not we are not we are not contending or you know, we, we are not confronting the status quo. We we are okay staying in molds. We are very comfortable. Because as you're saying, truth is not is not easy. It's not comfortable. But we don't want to seek. We don't want to pay the price. We don't want to come out of our familia. We don't want to come out from that which we know. Yes. Imagine how how long this how long this journey has been for you, and it's still continuing. You've not arrived yet. You're not you're not satisfied. You keep digging. You know. You keep digging, and every time you keep digging, you keep unraveling something, and every time you unravel something, you you get to this place, and it just goes on and on. So, these people that look at it and think like, um, this is how it's supposed to be, you you have you you feel bad for them. Mm. You feel bad for them. You feel bad for them. You feel the the iote iote na detona this aspect Shira, because I'm telling you. Upon creation, man was given dominion and power over the physical reality. Sheila, nothing in the physical here happens without your approval. That's why they are using deceptions. They are using deceptions. In, in, in these deceptions, they contain, they make us, these, these, these deceptions, they make us unconsciously give approval for things to exist here. Everything, everything here. must gain approval from man because man is the one who has dominion and power everything here and people will ask why are things which are crazy happening they will be happening because of the deceptions in this physical reality deceptions are put into place and then through these deceptions yeah you unconsciously give approval for things to exist outside here. Sheila, religions themselves, we are the ones giving it approval to exist. This which we call as evil, Sheila, out here, we as humans have the one, are the ones who are giving approval for the evil to exist here. Approval for the wars to exist because consci peace is just but state of consciousness, knowing that everyone is but yourself. You don't need to kill another human. Everything outside here submits to us, but because of the ma manipulations, we are submitting to them. Therefore, it is high time us taking us uh, the, our freedom back by realizing that nothing out here happens without our approval, period. I'm here. Nothing out here. Actually, it is what is happening. Nothing is happening without our approval here. Because the outward is the reflection of the within. Nothing is happening without our approval, but we have never, we have not taken charge of the, that process of things happening outside here. We have not, not taken charge of that, control of that, because of the deceptions outside here.
Therefore, us taking back the control of our own reality is getting out of the matrix. Us taking that control, that allowing this to happen because it favors me, this is what is going to happen, and that to happen, to manifest in physicality. Whatever is not of your preferences, you acknowledge it and let it be wherever it is supposed to be, not in your reality. That is the power which we have. And that is the power which we are supposed to take back. And you can only set yourself free from until you know truth is when you can identify a deception, Sheila. Not unless you first come to the realization of the truth is the is when you can become aware of a deception outside here. You cannot first stumble on a deception then you think you'll get out of out of the deception you'll see the truth you can't because the deception is sweeter first you have to stumble upon the truth before you find a deception because if you stumble on a deception deceptions here are sweet than all truths Everything here is happening for you because you're giving unconscious, unconscious approvals to them. It's happening for you. This physical reality outside here can be manipulated by yourself or somebody else within that, this reality. It is not stable. It is a hologram. It is a, it is a hologram of mind. It is the projection of mind. The physical reality is the projection of mind. Therefore, for it, for, for someone to deceive you so that you can manipulate your own reality to favor them is to give you a concept. Get a new concept. Let me tell you one, one thing which people do not know. Sheila, the only time you can find and discover truth is when you are in this present moment. Sheila, when you are pre and only that moment is when you can discover truth and is that only moment you can come up with the truth. Your new truth which is above anything which you are observing outside here. Sheila, anything you are observing when you are with it and in the present moment, Sheila, you can come with the truth of uh, which is above that. Therefore, changing your reality outside that, evolving your reality outside of that, because you are in observation of that present moment is where you can come with the grander concept of whatever shit is happening outside here, when you are present in awareness. But here, we have been, we have been programmed that there are concepts here we cannot question Sheila. Sheila. let me tell you one thing everything outside here is a concept everything outside here is the truth because the reason why it is happening even if it is a deception it is happening because it is the collective truth all these deceptions which we 
falling on humanity, Sheila? They are the truth. That's why they are happening. Nothing happens here before it becomes your truth. Uh. Sheila, there's no one who's going to save us again against ourselves. There is no Jesus coming to who is Jesus is coming to save to save to save to save who? From what? Uh. Sheila, this reality is happening for you. Nothing here is happening without your approval. You just need to take, to take charge of that happening. There is no Jesus coming, Sheila. There is no Jesus coming. There is no one coming with the angels and anyone. To set us from ourselves. We can only set ourselves free. You can only set you free. To change this reality. If you want this world to change, to, to be favorable to you, start becoming that change. Because change starts with you. That's right. Sheila, change starts with you. You are becoming is what you experience is what your reality becomes. Period. Sheila, let us let us keep religion aside. I mean let us keep God aside to relax. Here we don't need to involve God in anything. Yes. He is the source, but not for now. To pull him here, to 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 intercede, no, Sheila, it's a no. For me, God to intercede, to intercede, no. I take responsibility of whatever is happening outside of me, of whatever reality is happening outside of you. I acknowledge it is happening. If it is shit, it is shit. Therefore. I acknowledge it is shit it because it is already existing. I acknowledge it because that which exists is already within God. Therefore I acknowledge it, but I prefer the opposite of that. And I take charge of my reality and I bring the good here and all things here, either crazy or good, they work together. For me, they work together the good and the bad they work together for my highest good period god i relax should be relaxing if he's going to the beach let him go to the beach it is time to take responsibility sheila here uh, but to give us all power isn't it we have all power sheila let me tell you one thing Power does not, God does not give you power when you take response, when you become responsible in all things here, when you take responsibility in all things here, Sheila, when taking responsibility is taking power, Sheila. Mm, exercising your power. Wow. Exercising your power. Because many people don't know how to take it to the next level. Of course. Sheila, people will wake up. How many people have power, but they, they are not Yes, responsible. because they are not power, taking... Power, not the reason why everything is get, is overwhelming everyone is because they lack the power out of lack of responsibility. Wow. People are busy here denying people. People are busy here denying situation. People are busy here denying God because there is nothing God is not. People are denying things here which... People are denying things here which they have manifested from their within because everything here is a reflection of you, who you are. Everything, Sheila, even a cockroach. 
See, like you cannot deny anything here. Sheila, the only way to, to, the only way, if you want to be on the religious side, the only way, the only way you can take control of the, this reality, is through you taking responsibility of all things, even Satan, because Satan did not exist. It was a concept given to humanity to make it their truth. Sheila, humanity is something else. What a collective of humans can do when they have one single thought it becomes into existence. Here, even taking responsibility of Satan. Not embracing that, but taking responsibility that, yes, we created you. Therefore, therefore, we created you. Therefore, go behind me, Satan. We cre it's not denying and rebuking Satan here. <coughs> it is letting Satan know <coughs> that I acknowledge you exist. And you exist. You came into existence through my knowing. Therefore, I am in charge. I am over you and above you. Everything outside here, all things outside here, Mr. Satan, they work together as one. All things here, they work together because all things are within God. So, clean up your act and work together. It's not denying things out here, Sheila. Never. Sheila, that which you resist always persists. The reason it persists is because it is of your own creation. It is of your own kind. It is your own offspring. You cannot deny that. Sheila, everything here is a concept. I'm telling you, believe me, the word Satan did not exist from the earlier versions of the Bible, period. It started, the word Satan came from the start of King James Version. never existed but because someone somewhere wanted you to create the entity and they know how through mind let us let them create satan and the people created satan he shila in the physical reality satan exists And is going to torment you until you realize that he is having no power above. He has no powers which are above you. You are above Satan. You until you come to realize that this is my own my own creation. Therefore, I can scramble it if I want. So behave, Satan. Go back here. Follow the path I'm walking. When I'm telling you people, poor, poor, poor baby, 
boy of Mary. People never understood what he taught. People are not following the path that he walked. People are only believing in him. When Jesus told one of his disciples, go behind me, Satan. People should go to that, read from three or four verses from top to that point and understand. <laughs> ah, Sheila, Satan is your own creation. And he, even me, in that, the, the, the concept they gave you of Satan, they told you also, Jesus told Satan, go behind me. It is, there was some truth they were giving you. At the same time, Satan is a lie. Sheila, you can never find the truth if you first stumble in a sweet lie. You can never. The only way to, to find truth is first to seek for truth. And truth are not going to tell you that the Hey, listen, we are the truth. You have to believe that we are the truth. No, they are not going to tell you that. They are going to bring you awareness to the deception. Only truth does not boast. <laughs> hey, truth does not blow trumpets. It is the pure evidence of itself. It just gives you the awareness of a deception. Then you will know I found the truth. You cannot find Sheila. You can never validate that this is the truth until first it, it gives you an aware of a deception then you get to realize that shit, this is the truth. It does not blow trumpets. It gives you kwamba, okay, this concept which you have taken to make it your truth, this is what it is. It tells you, me, I am like this and this one which you have taken as truth is like that. Then you wake up in a rude shock, realizing now I have found the truth. It is not in stumbling on lies when you where you find truth. Sheila, no. Truth can only be found in seeking. I'm tell I, I'm telling you, Sheila. We are not here to seek for God. God already exists. He is all things and all things are God. We are here to seek truth.